In sports, of course, last night, we had NFL football. Monday night football. And in the game that I watched the end of, because uh, I woke up to go to the bathroom and I put the TV on and there it was. Kansas City came from being down 17 to 3 to winning that game 30 to 29 with the Raiders having a shot at winning it in the last seconds. Now in the game something happened that the uh, NFL is really going to have to address. They're overprotecting the quarterbacks now. Um a quarterback was sacked and fumbled and the big guy that fell on him recovered the ball as they were going down, used his left hand to stop his weight from totally crushing the quarterback, and they called roughing the passer. Insane. Absolutely insane. They've got, they've got to do something. They've got to do something uh, to stop that. You have to understand the laws of physics and a 320-pound guy who's tackling the quarterback, makes him fumble, recovers the fumble while they're going down, and then breaks his, his fall by putting out his left arm. Even if you're out of position and you call it, um, the NFL should then buzz down to the official and say, no, that was not roughing the quarterback. Can you imagine how many players would have been kicked out of the league? As few as maybe 15 years ago? Go back 20 years. I'm not saying that you should go back to being that rough. But I'm saying it's a game. It's a game. People who make a lot of money play. Um, there, there are certain safety restrictions that are needed. There's no doubt about it. But they just have to stop babying quarterbacks. Really. Uh, these people sign up for this game and they realize it's a dangerous game. All right. So with that being said, all right, Troy Aikman who was a commentator at that game, is urging the NFL Competition Committee to immediately meet, meet to take the dresses off after that penalty last night. So uh, we'll have to see if they're going to do anything about it at all. In golf, Tom Kim won the Shriners Children's Open. Um, in uh, football, Michigan assistant coach Mike Hart is now trending in a positive direction after he had a medical emergency. That's good to hear, if you saw that at all. And in baseball, here we go. We're off following the yellow brick road to an eventual World Series champion. The teams that are left participating, we have... New York facing off against Cleveland. Seattle facing off against Houston in the American League. In the National League, we have Philadelphia squaring off against Atlanta. And also in the National League, San Diego squaring off against Los Angeles. Games that are happening tonight. If you like baseball, today's your day. Four Games are on. Four, count them, games. 
It starts at 1 o'clock with the Philadelphia Phillies at the Atlanta Braves. That's on Fox. Then Minnesota takes on the Astros. Minnesota, listen to me. The Mariners take on the Astros at 3.37. That's on TBS. Cleveland takes on the Yankees. That's at 7.37 on TBS. And beginning at 9.37, the Padres are taking on the Dodgers. So it's a full day of baseball today. And they're all on TV. So if you're a baseball fan, you're in heaven. That's a check on sports. Good morning, everybody.